Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to our uh, Committee of Adjustment meeting for April 27th for the Village of Point Edward. Um, I'd like to welcome all our new and returning members. I'm going to introduce everyone starting to the left of Gavin Hall, Ariana Nochter, Cam Munich, Stephen Beasley, and Dave Helwig. And we also have a new planner today, Jared Preston. Uh, my name is Jim Burns. I'm the clerk for the committee. Um, so we have one piece, well, we have one application before us today, but we also have, before we get started, we need to elect the chairperson and a vice chair for the committee. So I'm going to open up the floor for nominations for the position of chairperson. Well, I'll nominate Cam again, please. Okay, is there a seconder for that? I'll second that. Yeah. Yeah. Any further nominations? Second call for further nominations. Third and final call. Okay, seeing none, Cam, are you willing to accept the nomination? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'll declare that Cam Munich be the chairperson for the coming term, which ends at the end of 2024. And then I will call for nominations for the position of vice chair. Any nominations for the position of vice chair? How do you feel about it, Gavin? Would you be willing? I'll, I'll, I'll nominate you if you're willing. You, you've been a good chair and you don't miss many meetings, so I won't have a heavy <laughs> job. So, uh, I'll, I'll nominate Gavin. I'll okay. take it. Your seconder for that? I'll second that. Thank you. Any further nominations for the position of vice chair? Second call for nominations for the position? A third and final call for the nominations for vice chair. Okay, seeing none, Gavin, you're willing to accept the nomination? Yeah, Thank you. So declare that Gavin Hall will act as the vice chair for the coming term. And then I will turn the meeting over to you, Cam, to uh, Thank you very take much. us through the regular business of meeting. I'll call this regular meeting to order. Does any member of the committee have a pecuniary interest in the variance before us today? No. None here. No. None here. Our first order of business, the approval of the minutes of the meeting of November 24th, 2022. Uh, I didn't see anything out of order, Mr. Chairman, so I'll move that. Move that they be accepted as written. Seconder? I'll second it. Motion carried. First order of business today will be to consider the minor variance application A-01-2023 for the property owned by Christopher Downham, address at 209 Michigan Ave. The purpose of this minor variance application is to reduce the side yard setback of the west side of the property from three meters to approximately 1.23 meters. The Planning Act requires that a public meeting be held in order to allow the committee to receive input from the general public about the proposed variance. Notices of this meeting have been posted and circulated to owners in the area affected, as well as agencies. Our staff report will be presented by Jared Preston. Would you proceed? Yep. Um, and Jim's got my presentation up, so I'm good to get started. Um, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, members of the committee and the public. My name is Jared Preston, and I am the planner for the County of Lambton. And today I'll be presenting my variance application for 209 Michigan Avenue. Next slide. So the applicant is uh, Christopher uh, Downham, and he's represented by his agent, uh, Ken Matten. And you're Ken? Yeah, I am, yeah, okay. Uh, they are proposing uh, to enclose an existing carport for additional living space. Uh, next slide. Um, so this first site photo shows the front of the site uh, with the existing carport. And this photo shows the affected neighboring property, which is on the west side of 209. 
And this uh, photo shows the adjacent properties on Michigan Avenue, including St. Paul's Anglican Church. And this photo shows the adjacent apartment complex on Michigan Avenue and a residence across the street. Um, this, this aerial photo shows the site location and the zoning uh, for 209 Michigan Avenue. So as you can see, the site is highlighted in the little green box there. And it's zoned residential 1R1. And single detached dwellings are permitted in this R1 zone. So this next aerial photo shows the proposed minor variance, and it is highlighted in those bold letters, the 1.23 meters. So staff have reviewed this application, and we have determined that the proposal meets all the applicable policies. It meets the four tests of minor variance. And an important note that this proposed living space leaves some concern with access to the re rear yard, but we are satisfied as staff that the access to the rear yard with this two, one point, approximately 1.23 meter setback can be maintained without any further encroachment. So our recommendation is that staff recommend that committee approve this application with the following condition which is noted on page one of my staff report. This concludes my presentation and I'm happy to answer any questions. Are there any questions for Jared? Thank you very much. I have, I have one question. So the carport is gonna, is gonna be torn down or it's gonna be left there and it's gonna encroach them. Build around it. Build around it? No. So the carport is going to be torn down. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Does that affect any of the drainage at all from the property, the neighboring property? Uh, it shouldn't. Um, it went through uh, building services and uh, there was no concerns in terms of drainage at all. Are there any further questions for Mr. Preston? Yes, the proposed uh, building, is it going to be the size of the count carport or is it extending forward? Uh, it should be, uh, as I noted on the site plan. I make up on the drawing here, whether it was extending yeah. forward or not. So the living space will be extended a bit, but it won't be a huge difference in terms of the size. So the, the final size will be? Uh, I don't have the site plan in front of me for the final size, but it is no note on the site plan. We can get you that. Um, I think we should have them. If yeah, you'd like me to respond to that, yeah. uh, the, um, the width of, of the building will be 21 feet. So we're setting it up so that the interior wall face uh, is a continuous wall on the inside. So the thickness of the wall Will project to the north um, from the postman perspective, a little further north than it does right now, but that's going to be about eight inches. Just about eight, eight inches? Eight, yeah, the, the finished size of the uh, addition will be 15 foot um, east west and 21 foot north south. 15 foot east west. East west. And how long is it? 21 feet north south. Okay. okay. Reasonable. I would have gone bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a look at that area and it looks like it's going to be a, a nice little addition. Are there any further questions, Mr. Preston? I do have one. Would it be, would it be the same height as the carport or would they go as high as the roof line? I can't hear you. Sorry. <clears throat> is, it, is it going to be the same height as the carport or will it go? as high as the line of the house. I will refer that again to uh, <clears throat> Mr. Ken Matten because he has the uh, same plan in front of him. It's a single story, isn't it? It's, it's, a, story. it's a single story. Yeah. So it, um, currently the, it's a, a flat roof design on line, uh, so with a minimal slope and um, will we'll be very similar with the slope with the new uh, system mm -hmm. that's going on top of it. 
but we'll, we'll have a gabled roof there to, that will tie in with over top of the existing apartment building. That's still one story, less less than the height of the existing uh, one story portion of this. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no basement. No. There, so it won't be as high. No, okay. We have a crawl space that's that'll be similar to the rest of the house. And once again, are there any further questions for Mr. Preston? Okay, speaking in favor of the application, and I probably got all the info out now, but uh, it would be Mr. Uh, Ken Matten. Do you have anything to add? I really have nothing additional than, we, than what we've spoken of. So. Are there any uh, further questions for Mr. Matten? Thank you very much. And is there anyone present or online who wishes to speak in opposition to this application? See everyone shaking their head. <clears throat> okay, is there any correspondence to be read? There's been no correspondence received. Are there any further comments or questions from committee members? Is the committee prepared to make a decision at this time? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman, that the uh, variance be uh, approved with subject to the uh, planner's recommend recommendations. Can I have a seconder, please? I'll second. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Motion carried. Appeals may be made to the local planning appeal tribunal against the decision of this committee within a prescribed time frame. If you wish to be notified of the decision of the committee of adjustment in respect to the proposed minor variance, you must provide a written request. Do we have any other business to bring up? Nothing from me. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Seconder? I'll second that motion. Motion carried. Meeting is adjourned. I can't. <laughs>